Hey, I'm back for another round. So let's try uh, looking at some of these fantasy masterpieces. I have a lot of doubles in these. And I have number one up on the uh, board for you. What these things did was they reprinted a lot of the monster stories at first. Um, most of these probably appeared in Journey into Mystery, Strange Tales, Tales to Astonish, Tales of Suspense, Amazing Adult Fantasy, Amazing Adventures, those kind of mags would have had these early monster stories. And Dick Ayers, Joe Snot, Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby, and Don Heck. The Marvel Bullpen. Issue number two features Fin Fang Foom, Don Heck's Orgo, and Steve Ditko's Those Who Lurk Below. So it is reprinting the early monster mags that are really hard to get, which I'm currently collecting. And um, so if you want to read them without having to buy them, because I don't know where else you could get them, this is a great place for them. In issue number three, I think in issue number two, it was still 12 cents, yes. In issue number three, it went up to a quarter, and it was printed more like an annual with the big fat binding in the back. And um, you had more ca uh, original Captain America stories from the 40s reprinted, along with uh, other Golden Age and early Silver Age monster stories in this issue. In issue number four, I'll put one up there for you to look at while I talk about it, because we got two of those. You got Captain America, the action jam stories that thrilled millions when they first appeared over 25 years ago, and that's from the 1960s. A bunch of different Captain America stories, along with I Am the Man Beast, the thing called It, and they vanished forever. Issue 5. Let's pull down these and go with Issue 5 up there for you. Issue 5. Got more Slam Bang Captain America action. The Ringmaster of Death. The Dragon of Doom. And the Killers of the Bund. You also have the monster stories with the things from Dimension X. It fell from a flying saucer and... Mr. Gregory and the Ghost. Some excellent comic book reading there. Issue 6, Captain America and the Red Skull, the Phantom Hound of Cardiff Manor, and the Fang Archfiend of the Orient. I found the Laird of the Lizardmen, Germ Warfare, and I was trapped in the Chamber of Fear. There's only about a dozen of these, I believe, but they are pretty cool. And if you want to collect something inexpensive from the Silver Age, you know, this is kind of neat. You get all that cool artwork, but you don't have to pay the, the big price for it. Okay, enough talking. Number seven, you get the original Human Torch, who was the android Human Torch, uh, and the original Submariner, Along with these tantalizing, terrific trio of timeless tales, Monsters on Mercury, Punishment, and Titan Strikes. So now they're starting to reprint a few of the Golden Age titles. And some of them are kind of interesting. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Fantasy Masterpieces number eight. Check that out while I tell you about it. Ah. Uh, I actually read a couple of these recently, and this, the Torch versus the Submariner on here, these guys are pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, Captain America, classic, Death Plays the Scales, and Far Out Fantasies, Call Her Medusa, The Man in the Beehive, and I'm pretty sure that's from Tales of Suspense, but I don't remember the issue. And I saw Droom, the living lizard, in issue number eight. All stories are complete. Now, there you go, issue eight. I'll just take that down. Put issue eight right there. 
issue nine. Go ahead, get a gander on that. That's the last issue I have of Fantasy Masterpieces. And from the golden age of Marvel, as it says in the top, from out of the glory-drenched pages of the golden age, exactly as it appeared in 1939, the original Human Torch. And also featuring more star-studded adventures of Captain America, another Golden Age classic starring the Submariner, plus Monstero, We Search the Stars, and I Don't Believe in Ghosts. And there's a great new letters page starting in this issue. So that's all for fantasy masterpieces. They're, uh, they're an interesting, uh, it's an interesting run with some interesting stories. Highly recommended for collectors. Uh, it's a reasonably priced Silver Age fun. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.